Transfer Museum is a collaborative project that is comprised of Ruthie Stringer, Leslie Stem, and myself. We also work with every project um, in collaboration with other members of our neighborhood, which we consider to be North Braddock and Braddock. And our projects reach kind of from the library out into the larger service area of the library. We originally engaged Dana and Ruthie and Leslie to help us kind of navigate Braddock when we were bringing artists from other countries to come see the area. We were attracted to Braddock as a potential site for installations. And it became clear that actually what Transformasium was doing there was in itself more interesting and more relevant than what any visiting artist would manage to do there. So we asked them to propose some projects for the International. The Art Lending Collection was something that they had already been thinking about and working on. The Art Lending Collection allows any library visitor to check out a work of art for three weeks with a potential to renew up to nine weeks. A whole room was redesigned um, and retrofitted to become this art lending collection and there's really great racks full of artworks, there are collections of art books, and then every single artist who's in this iteration of the Carnegie International donated an artwork. And this is a component of the project that it allowed artists whose work normally circulates in a heightened market context of the art world, either in museums or for very wealthy collectors, to have an important artwork circulate on a much more kind of down-to-earth basis. It basically allows people to live with contemporary art the way that really mostly just collectors or museums are able to do that. Anyone with an Allegheny County Library card can come into the Art Linden Collection and check out artwork just like you would check out a book. And that experience in itself is a complete experience. But one of the things that we're really interested in is what it means to have the Art Lending Collection inside a library. Libraries inherently are both public and private. It's this really powerful and beautiful thing where they are these kind of like public institutions of ongoing learning and kind of self-enrichment. And we're really interested in about the way that art can participate in that library structure. So the idea that you come in and you have this kind of experience with the artwork brings up questions or makes you reflect on what your social circumstances are, or where you are, or maybe it's an escape. Who knows? All these things are really important, but we also wanted to make sure that it was a space that would facilitate conversation and facilitate further engagement with the artwork. So that's where the art lending facilitators come in. And the role of an art lending facilitator is to interact with these patrons and it's a variety of things, recommending artworks, you know, bringing people in who aren't familiar with the program yet and introducing them, starting conversations here in the Art Linden Collection Room, showing them the books that we have in the collection, stimulate interest in the artwork. Me, myself, I like to give a background of the story, so each time I pick out a piece that I really know a lot about, and that way I can tell them the story. I think it's better when they get the background of the story, why the artist painted the artwork, and what it means to the artist. The experiences people get out of it is very, you know, very different because of who we are targeting and um, because a lot of people in the community, the local community, this is all new to them and being a part of art is new to them. So sometimes we have a little discussion on how something can even be considered art. But one of my personal favorites is actually right here. There are black people in the future and from Elijah Wormley and it's just the fact that it generates a non-stop story. Every single person that looks at that picture gets a completely different story, and that to me is amazing. Identifying just three people who could benefit from you know, job skills, um, but also uh, the opportunity for them then to interact with members of the community in a really deep and kind of educated and educational way. I think will have huge ripple effects both for those three people and for the community. You know, there is this idea that artwork only belongs to some people, people that can afford to purchase it, or people that grow up going to museums or think of the museums as a welcome place. But what we really believe is that the people that live in marginalized neighborhoods are often excluded from an arts discourse. Whereas what we've learned from being outsiders, moving here, and just listening, is that there's already, of course, a vital arts discourse. And where is that disconnect between what's happening in a place and kind of what happens in the institution or the museum? Uh, one of the Art Lending Collection facilitators, Jonathan, always talks about how artworks need people. And I think that that's 
you know, we, we are used to, you know, selling the idea that uh, people need art, and that's what I tell people at the museum, but I think it's really interesting to kind of flip that around and think about how artworks need publics, they need people, and I think that the Art Lending Collection is kind of the most elegant and kind of direct way that I've seen that formula kind of solved. It is a way to add more programs, more robust programs on an ongoing basis and bring people into Carnegie's first public library to really understand that it was built as a multi-use space. And even though our resources have changed here, it's continuing to be a multi-use space that's relevant for today. It means a lot to me because uh, being an artist, it gives me more hands-on experience. It gives me the opportunity to interact with the community in a whole different way that wasn't available before. And, uh, I'm also impressed at how the Art Linda Collection is gradually becoming like a staple in the community, a regular thing that people expect to be here and are utilizing on a regular basis.